update. Uh, I haven't had much time to work on this, so it's kind of slow going, but we're getting there. Um, what I've done is I made this perch. Made it out of a couple uh, two by sixes. I used the bolts for the compressor as a mount and braced it, put a piece of a plywood perch. So the airflow meter is securely mounted now. Here's the intake pipe to the uh, into the turbo. I tried to route it. You know, I didn't want this this pipe stressed. I don't know if I'm going to end up using this whole setup or not because uh, there's going to be some fitment issues trying to get it to the Z with the wait and see. Uh, I've mounted the I mounted the coil over here. I just have that held on with some zip ties to the perch. This is the uh, transistor that fires a coil. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to do that. I don't know if I'm going to worry about trying to heat sink that or not. Um, I mean, it's got, got this aluminum on the bottom, so I assume it's supposed to be heat sinked. Uh, I might put a piece of copper, uh, mount that to a piece of copper and let it overhang, something to, to let it do that. I don't know. I'm not quite there yet. Uh, and the only other thing I managed to accomplish is I went ahead and mounted the, the key switch. So that'll be hooked up next. I'll go ahead and run a start uh, wire to the start solenoid. After I get that done, uh, I really don't have any excuses left to start hooking up the the wire, the, uh, the whole uh, wire harness and the ECU. I'm pretty much running out of mechanical things to deal with. Um, the only thing I haven't done is I haven't got, I haven't figured out what I'm do about the alternator. I mean, this is an alternator that requires a, a regulator. It's an external regulated alternator, and I could steal it off of that setup and, you know, reinitialize that. You know, why do you care about the alternator, Dave? Because, you know, I don't want the battery to get weak while I'm running and fooling around with it. But also, the other reason is, if you notice here, there's no fan. I'm not planning on running a fan on this engine test stand. It's just too hairy having that fan spinning around, especially I'm going to have all kinds of clearance issues with what I'm doing over here. So I'll probably take the span clutch off. I don't need that big, you know, cutting blade there spinning at me. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, it's not that big a deal. But no fan, but I'll probably still mount the radiator. And when I mount the radiator, I'm not sure where I'm going to, where my takeoff points are going to be to mount it, but I'm not going to worry about location with respect to the fan because all I'm going to do is get it the right, you know, vertical height here and no fan, which means I'll put an electric fan on it. Now I'll either run the box fan I use, just plug in that one over there, just put it right in front of the thing and plug it in, or I do have a couple electric fans that I could probably just bolt to the front of the radiator in a pusher configuration. But that's going to require battery for the uh, that's going to be battery power, which means okay, I don't want to drain the battery. So the alternator would help to keep the battery charged if I decide to go this far as all that. Frankly, I'm not sure I'm going to get there. Uh, I don't anticipate doing any real long range um, uh, running of this engine other than just get it started and see if it schools up and all that goodness. Which means, frankly, the it shouldn't get hot enough to even be an issue. But anyway, that's where I am now. So I, I just want to show you the perch, the AFM, the distributor, and the switch. And I'm going to start working on uh, hooking up this transistor module next. And then it goes a wire harness. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.